guilty. Okay. She's guilty. Okay, just calm down. Uh, she uh, uh, was investigated by the Alaska State Legislature as a bipartisan panel uh, looking into Troopergate, whether she pressured uh, Walter Monaghan uh, to fire her ex-brother-in-law, Trooper Wooten, and uh, panelists found that, yes, in fact, she did. She abused her powers. She broke the Alaska Executive Branch Ethics Act. They have not recommended any uh, sanctions or criminal uh, charges against her. She broke the law, so I'm not entirely sure why they didn't, but uh, they have said it is a bipartisan panel. They uh, had a 300-page report here saying, in fact, Sarah Palin did do this. We explained earlier in the show that that is, in fact, of course, uh, absolutely true for a number of reasons. Uh, they ca had called Monaghan 36 times to say, will you fire Wooten already, which, of course, they're not allowed to do as the governor of Alaska or her staff or her husband, who met Monaghan the first month of her administration with a pile of papers, as the New York Times reported, uh, all on Wooten, saying, hey, you know what, it'd be great if you, you know, took some more action against Wooten here, because he once shot a moose illegally. Wow. Right? And they wanted him fired, obviously, because of a personal family grudge. Monaghan said, I couldn't believe it. It seemed like an obsession. They would call over and over on the same topic, Sarah Palin, Todd Palin, people from her office, and then finally they fired him because he wouldn't fire Wooten. And the minute they did, Monaghan said, oh, this must be about Wooten. <laughs> and now this panel has weighed in on it, and they have confirmed it. And Monaghan says, now I feel vindicated by this. In fact, it was about Wooten. She did abuse her power, and she did it for a personal family grudge, abused her office as governor. The McCain campaign did not want this to come out before the election. It has. How much effect it will have, we'll see but it certainly diminishes her uh, standing as a person who's fighting corruption in Alaska, and she's a reformer and a maverick. Oh, please. Right? So apparently Sarah Palin, not quite the maverick and reformer that she pretended to be, uh, some of the same ethical violations that she went after other Alaska politicians for, she is now herself committed. The jury is in, and we have a guilty verdict. It's not a jury, it's a legislature, and it doesn't really mean anything when she's guilty, except for the fact that, hey, look, now it's on the record. It's over. She did.